I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks and today I'm going to show you how to make a square. So today I am using the Cotton Soft King Cole. I have it in buttercup, white, sage, iris, lavender and violet. Now you can do this in your own colours, you can do this in acrylic. Okay, so let's get started with our buttercup. I am also using my trusted three and a half. Of course, I have scissors and a darning needle just to sew in those ends. So let's get started with a slip knot. We are going to chain four. One, two, three and four. Then we are going to go back to the first chain and we go into it. We bring our working yarn through it and through the loop on our hook, making a little circle ready to get started on doing one, two and three chains. Then we are going to do a double crochet into the circle. Chain one, double crochet into the circle. So this chain three here counts as a double crochet and a chain one. So we are going to do this until we have seven chain spaces. So now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven. I've done my chain one. Now we go to that starting chain here. We skip the first two chains, then we try and pick up something in that third one and now we have a little circle with eight chain spaces and that's what we need so we are going to cut off our yarn so now we're going to be using the white so make your slip knot insert your hook and we are going to get started with yarning over and into that chain space here, we are going to place three double crochets. So you can get started where you want, make sure that if it's near your slip stitch, it doesn't open up again. So there we go, three double crochets, chain one. Into the next chain space, we place three double crochets and then we do a chain one. There we go. And this is how we continue. And off we go again, doing our cluster of three double crochets and we put a chain in between. So I will see you when you have done this eight times. So I've just done my last three double crochets, chain one, go over to that first cluster. This one closes up for me. I go under the V there and I do a slip stitch to close the round. There we go. So this is what we've got now. Let's cut off our yarn, pull it through and there we go. So now let's make the petals of the flower. And we're going to choose the middle of our purples. Well, I mean, obviously you can use whichever colours you want. Um, but if you choose three complementary colours, then try to use the middle one for the petals. So once again, you are going to get started by making your slip knot. Now we are, once again working in the chain spaces so it's quite straightforward this little flower here so you yarn over into a chain space and you pull up a loop and you do a half double crochet so that means pull through the three loops then scoot it over to the side you're going to put in there five double crochets two three four and five and then scoot them over another half double crochet voila so that's the petals that we are going to be making in each chain space around so let me 
repeat it, half double crochet, five double crochets, one, two, three, four, and five, and then a half double crochet. There we go. So I will see you when you have made your eight petals. I've just made my last petal and I'm just going to do it here, skipping this standing half double crochet into the first double crochet for a slip stitch there. So I'm going to close the round. There we go. So cut off the yarn. Voila. So do your slip knot, insert your hook and you're going to get started again we're just working around here so we're working in between the clusters and we are going to get started by doing a double crochet a standing double crochet so there we go now we do one two three and four chains then another double crochet in the same location and this is our corner so now we do one two, three, and four. And then here we do a single crochet. One, two, three, four. In between the next two petals, we are going to do a double crochet, a chain four, four, and a double crochet, because we need to make another corner. Look. one two three and four chains in between the next two clusters single crochet one two three and four chains in between the next two clusters we do the corner of a double crochet one two three four and another double crochet in that same location do you see how it's getting square okay so let's continue one, two, three, and four in between the next two for a single crochet. One, two, three, and four in between the next two for a corner. So that's one double crochet, chain four, and one double crochet. One, two, three, four, and a single crochet in the next location. One, two, three, four, and we have made it all the way around and just anywhere you can get into here yeah, for a slip stitch to close the round. There we go. And that has now, let me show you, voila, squared up our square. So cut off the green. You know how I like it when there's an, an inkling of something green, of a leaf going around the flower. So now we are going to start doing rows of double crochets. So I would suggest starting with the lightest of your colour. So here I have the iris. And once we've established this, really you're off. And you can make this square as big as you want. And I will tell you in a moment how big I need you to make the square. So we can do the project that I'm going to suggest in the next video. So let's get started. So in the corner, we are going to do three double crochets. So let me get started on those. So start with a standing double crochet. So three double crochets, then two chains and three double crochets. So that is how each corner is going to be made up also in the next rounds, okay? Then, for now, we are going to be placing double crochets around the chains. And here, this chain four will take five double crochets. So let's get started on doing five double crochets around that chain there. Three, four, and five. Then here we have our corner chain space. So in there we are going to do three double crochets, 
two chains and three double crochets. There we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and as you can see, look, we are squaring up and our square is getting larger. So now we continue by putting five, five, the corner, five, five, the corner, five, five, and I will meet you here. So I've just done my last lot of five double crochets. And now here, skipping that standing one, I go into the next one and I do my slip stitch to close the round. And to be honest, this already is a lovely square. So if this square is talking to you and it wants you to make a blanket, then, you know, go ahead. But for the project that I am suggesting in the next video, you will only need one of these squares. It's going to be an object that you can use. So I hope you will enjoy making it. But we need to make it a little bit bigger. So I'm going to suggest to do two rounds in this iris colour, then two rounds in lavender and three rounds in violet. So while I am crocheting these rounds, I'm going to tell you about this series more in detail. So over the years, I have realised that you lot love being ready for a video. So if I show you on a Sunday one of the projects that I made, you love knowing how many squares, which squares to make, and then you're ready to make it by the time the video comes out. And I really enjoy that concept that you are there ready with what you need when that video comes out. And a couple of hours later, I can see that some of you have already finished that project. Well, to cater for your needs, <laughs> I came up with this idea. Now, I look at Pinterest, you know, for inspiration. And very often I see these diagrams there for all kinds of granny squares. You would not believe how many there are. And those always intrigue me because I often just want to try them out. I just want to sit down and crochet them. But then you've done that and you think, yeah, what do I do with it now? Yes, of course, it's nice to learn a new square, but then you've made it and it's lying there. Or if you want to make a blanket with it, then yes, you have to make like a gazillion of them. And to be honest, you don't always want to make a blanket. So then I started thinking, well, what if I said, here is a new square. Here is something that I found on Pinterest or something that I've come up with. And we make the square in the first tutorial. And then I say, make so many. Make one, make two, make three, make four. And then by the next video, you will have had the chance to make those. And then you will be ready for that next tutorial. Now, if you want to not know what you're making, that's perfectly all right. That can happen. During the live on the Sunday, I will show you what we made in that little series in the week that's just passed. But then I will also show you in a separate section kind of thing where I tell you to look away. I will also show you what we're making in the next week. So if you don't want to know, you just have to look away. <laughs> and I will show you what we're making. I won't say anything about it. I will just show it off. And then on the Wednesday, you will be there ready for making the square or making the two, three, five or 17 squares, whatever you will need. I will also indicate like here, there are six colours that you need. Obviously, you can do it in one colour. You can do it in your own colours. This is cotton that I'm using. You can easily do this in cotton, of course, but also in acrylic. So use what you've got. Don't worry about, you know, using the same colours. Obviously, if you like them and you want to use them, feel free. But if you don't, then just 
you know, use whatever you have. Then make the square or make the suggested size of the square like we're doing now. And then on Friday, I will suggest what we are going to make with it. If you like it, of course, you know, make it along. If you don't like it, then keep the square separate. You've learned a new square. Put it aside so that when you do need to, um, you know, have a square for a blanket or something like that, you will have one there. Now, I will also use things like maybe some fabric, some lining for, for example, a pouch that we're making, some maybe a tassel, maybe a strap something like that. So you will only find that out on the Friday. So normally these Wednesday videos will only be showing you how to make the square. I will not say too much. All I will say at the end of the video is how many squares you will need to make. Okay. Um, this video is special because, yes, I have made the square in the beginning. If you want to use this as just the tutorial for the square, that's fine. But I'm now giving you extra information so you understand what I am trying to achieve with this series. OK, so I have now done two rounds of iris and now let's go to lavender. Oh, my goodness, I am liking this. So. Do your slip knot, insert your hook. So I hope you will enjoy learning lots and lots of new squares. But I also hope that you will enjoy the surprise each week to see what we are making. Obviously, if you think, oh my goodness, what she come up with now? <laughs> but still, it might be a challenge for you to make. It might be a lovely thing for you to make. And just put it aside and keep it as a gift. If you need a lot of gifts throughout the year and you generally crochet them, then this might be a good way to make little things, to make ideal things for giving away. So in the next few weeks, we will be doing this series. So keep an eye out for them. I will, of course, interrupt this series for making other tutorials as well but I am really enjoying this idea and I will bring back this format so that I can show you how to make the square that you need in one tutorial as a standalone tutorial almost and then you will know how many squares to make if you are then ready for that next video then you will be there to make that project. Of course, in the beginning, I'm going to be counting from one, two, three, four upwards. So we will try and do it in order. But, but I might not. Um, I might see something that I fancy making and then I'll just make you make another number. OK, or maybe even go down again. But even so, this is going to give us the opportunity to learn a lot more squares and to come up with some lovely little projects. So I hope you will enjoy this series and I am really looking forward to making all kinds of things with you. So let me continue with doing my rounds in my different purples and I will show you how big I would like you to make this square in a moment when I finished it. So this is what it looks like after two rounds of lavender. Now I have to say I am missing the first stitch after the corner each time because otherwise it might go a little bit wavy. Uh, cotton has a tendency to go a little bit wavy like this, but it's fine. I can still push it down nicely. There we go. Off we go. So I have now finished my square. It's 10 by 10 inches or 25 by 25 centimeters. I have done three rounds 
in the violet because I needed it for that size. So I hope you will have time to make this square as well by the next video, which is on Friday. And I hope you will like what we are making. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!